Hey there, AK Guy here. I'm now in Sentosa to attend Huawei's Developer Day 2019 Asia Pacific. I know that many of you aren't developers, so I shall not bore you with all the details. Instead, in this video, I will go through how all the things covered during the presentation will affect you as a consumer. To kick things off, let's talk about Huawei mobile services. In case you are still living under a rock, Huawei's new devices are banned from running Google mobile services, which not only meant that you lose access to Google's apps, but also the apps that rely on the GMS call. In response, Huawei is now promoting their own set of tools called Huawei mobile services, or HMS for short. The first few presentations of the day were focused on helping developers integrate their apps with HMS. As a consumer, here are two things that you can take away from the HMS presentation. Firstly, Huawei is bringing their cloud service to Singapore. Users will receive 5GB of storage for free, which can be used to back up your photos, documents, and more. If that isn't enough though, you can upgrade it to 50GB at $128 per month. So if you're concerned about not having Google Photos on your Mate 30 Pro, worry no more. Secondly, Huawei is working on two features that together could change the way you use your phone. One of them is called the Ability Gallery, which is basically a panel of widgets that you can access by swiping right on your home screen. This isn't new, but what makes it noteworthy is that Huawei has worked with a lot of developers to fill it with content. The other feature is Quick Apps, which are apps that can be used without installation. We know that Google is also working on something similar, but Huawei has made huge progress with it, with over 1,000 of such apps in China. They are now opening it to developers globally. Here is how the two features could possibly work together in the future. Imagine you are about to go for a meeting, scheduled on your calendar. Ability Gallery then prompts you to open your presentation slide. Then, without even having PowerPoint or any slideshow apps installed, you can cast your presentation onto a projector and start presenting. That brings us to the next topic. Connectivity. During the high AI presentation, Huawei emphasized the need for better connectivity between smart devices. Smart products should not stop at just being able to connect to the internet, but also need to be able to work seamlessly together. Huawei showed off a few of such projects that they have been working on. One of them is a collaboration with Siri's photo printing service. By integrating Huawei Share into their printing machines, users were able to send their photos for printing in a quicker and more secure way without having to install any ads on their phones. Huawei also introduced us to their AI platform and showcased many of their collaboration projects. These projects range from aids for people with disabilities to next level content creation. And with MPUs in the modern day phones, which carries out AI computation, many of these AI features can work without security and latency concerns of processing over the cloud. Lastly, Huawei also talked about 5G at their event. Everyone knows that 5G is the next big thing, but what exactly is it? Well, 5G is as Huawei puts it, the third paradigm shift in the mobile industry. 1G gave us communication, 3G brought the ability to transfer data, and 5G will enable a super connected world. Unlike the previous two shifts though, 5G isn't so much about us the consumers. Instead, industries will be the one feeling the impact. With 5G, not only do we get faster data rates, but also much lower latency and greater connection density. These are essential to bringing AI, cloud, and big data to physical world applications. In essence, 5G is about connecting everything we have, from sensors to equipment, allowing them to work together to achieve more. So that's the end of Huawei Developers Day 2019. Even though I'm not a developer, I did learn a lot from this session. I hope you did too. So that's the end of my video. Goodbye.